The Charles Richardson Show is uncensored and is for adults only. Mature or immature, doesn't matter. I appreciate a good culture. I appreciate a good accent. You got the right accent. You can get away with a lot of shit. You be in a club and say something foul to a woman in an American accent, she might slap the shit out of you. Like, excuse me, baby, I don't mean to bother you, but you got a fat ass. I love to take you home, fuck the shit out you. <gasps> Motherfucker. <laughs> English accent, that just roll off the tongue different. Excuse me, I don't mean to bother you, but I'd really love to take you back to my hotel and fuck you doggy stuff a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Motherfucker, where you from? That shit is... Oh my God. Say something else. <laughs> Ladies, y'all laughing. Some of the fellas might try that on the way home. Just have a good time at the comedy show tonight, is you really? The next light, because you give me a little bit ahead, just a little bit. I don't want much, just want you to polish me now, you know what I mean? I ain't even gonna lie, I'll use that shit to get some pussy. I'll walk up to a woman and say anything. Excuse me, you know what time it is? Oh my God, the accent is beautiful. Where are you from? I just make shit up. McDonald's, England, have you ever heard of it? I live right off of Egg McMuffin Lane, have you ever heard of it? Oh my God, girl, you live off of Egg McMuffin, let's go. I tell you what accent is not sexy is that East Indian accent, that 7-Eleven shit, that turban shit, that dot towel shit. Ladies, trust me, you do not want that on top of you on a Saturday night. I'm going to give it to you. I know you wanted, you dirty bitch, and I know you wanted. I'm going to give you my Bagasani beef, you motherfucker. Say my name, say Pumasani. Ah! I don't, I don't understand. I really don't. Oh, 35 man. years old, you're still scared of a little thunder. I am not. <laughs> thunder buddies for life, right, Johnny? Fucking right. All right, come on, let's sing the thunder song. All right. When, when you, you hear the sound, sound of thunder, thunder, don't you get too scared. Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. Fuck you, thunder. You can suck my dick. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fuss. divorced for five years and uh, it's been the best part of my life being divorced easily my favorite part of my life I love being divorced every year has been better than the last and this is the only time I can say that about and by the way I'm not saying don't get married if you meet somebody fall in love and get married and then get divorced because that's the best part it's the best part marriage is just like a larva stage for true happiness which is divorce because you just let go and everything's fine now Divorce is forever. <laughs> it really actually is. Marriage is for how long you can hack it. But divorce just gets stronger like a piece of oak. <laughs> Nobody ever says, oh, my divorce is falling apart. It's over. I can't take it. And again, if you're in a good marriage, stay in it. If you're in the best marriage ever, 
saying it. I'm just saying if you got out, it would be better. That's just a fact. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. Everything's better. My ex-wife and I, this is the best part of our knowing each other. We're good co-parents because we live apart and we're friends. Our kids go to her half the week. They come to me half the week. And I'm a good father. I'm an attentive, focused, and responsible father. Do you know why? Because I get to say goodbye to these kids every week. <laughs> Are you shitting me? It's like every parent's fantasy. Who can't be a good father for half of every week? No matter how bad it gets, every Wednesday I get to go, goodbye girls. Daddy's gonna go upstairs and pour whiskey all over his naked body right now. Tired from the one and only Cat McSnatch coming at ya. Don't be a racist, don't be a fool. Everyone is different, everyone is cool. Everyone is cool. Don't generalize, don't believe the lies. Racism is hatred in disguise. All right, we're going to wind it up here now. People let's into it. Just because you're Asian does not mean you are smart. Just because you're Brazilian don't mean you are a smart. Just because you're Jewish doesn't mean you're tight. Just because you're rich and fat does not mean you are white. Why, 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 why? Don't be a dick. Does not mean you are fine. Just cause you're American, don't mean you want a gun. Just cause you're Italian, don't mean you can cook. Just because your skin is black, don't mean you are a crook. Now you're not the crook because of the color of your skin. Just because you're French, don't mean that you eat snails. Oh. But if you're Japanese, stop mattering the way. From the Raw Talk Studios in Southwest Florida, it's the Charles Richardson Show. And happy hump day, everybody. Welcome to the show. It is Freaky Bad Hair Day Wednesday, also known as Hump Day. Because it basically... It is. Me and Jenny just humped and uh, the hair's all over. What? I'm just saying. Get out of here. Separately. I got my wife. You got your man. And we're yeah, I got my mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Christian still can't adapt to that part. You can't oh, think of Matt and then me doing nuts. Just what? not. What is yeah, this he can't, bullshit that he he's can't saying he's it. done? That he's done DJing. That's what not true. That? He's DJing, or he's DJing later on tonight at six oh three. He went ahead, and I'm not sure, Ken. This is before Monday. He went ahead and put he was a having a moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We all have moments. You've had moments. I've had moments. Uh, I got more, more moments than you think. But see, I'm old. Christian's young. You shouldn't have moments. Young ones have their moments. Well, young they ones. just see them differently when they become our age. Just like we. Yeah, that's true. I see on I, the young. I, I do see things differently. They're out, they have the spots all over here and they move when I move my eyes. I'll tell you what. 
if I had it to do over again, I would have stayed under my father's roof. I would have enjoyed that shit <laughs> a lot longer. Just the knowledge that we have now. Man, can oh. we just go back in time? Where's my goddamn DeLorean? I need to go <laughs> back, back to like 1985, literally. 1985. I'll, I'll go back. I to actually that age. got to ride in one of those when I was a little girl with my uncle. Yeah, and I remember good. us going over this bridge towards a McDonald's, and this dude on a bicycle was just so blown away that he just slowly went over and boom, him and the bicycle went down. <laughs> it was like something out of a movie because he's like this, and we're just driving on over. It was de it was definitely a moment. It was a oh, fun yeah. moment. <laughs> I, I was lucky enough that uh, I actually got to sit on the uh, the Millennium Falcon because I know people. Oh, that's at Disney. neato. It was kind of cool. I mean, a long that time. That is neato. I got to meet Greg Evigan from BJ oh. and the Bear. Oh, don't know who that is, but <laughs> I'm showing my age. I, 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 I'm so I, get, I get to old. meet I got to meet Bo from the Dukes of Hazard at a parade in Bristol, Rhode Island, a Fourth of July parade. I've actually met a lot of people, including Trump. You met Trump? Yep. I met a cutout version of Trump. He, I actually he, represented him way in the beginning before he started talking Ucky, and then I jumped off the train. Yeah. I was I like saying? As soon as he starts talking, you got to jump off. I I, I met a uh, I met a, I met a cutout version of him. And Melania, and, uh, <laughs> and, and they're, they're 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 a bunch of douches. Even I met ones. Ron Paul. I met Rand Paul. Ron and Ram. Can you met... imagine? Can you imagine the Paul show? Ron and Ram. I've met a bunch of the presidentials because they all come here. New Hampshire is like the beacon of all candidates. Yeah. And when you're in the state house, they all come to the state house to talk in front of the body. Because well, there's 400 votes there, man. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing. When they go ahead and uh, they visit Florida, like it's it's almost like an Amber Alert on your phone. You do not <laughs> want to be in that city at all because it's packed <laughs> up for miles and miles and miles because they're closing everything. Oh, no. I, I, we have a tendency to go the other way. I did get to go to a Republican debate when Rand Paul was, Ron Paul was running and uh, at St. Ansem College and actually be there in the room when they did the, the debate. It was it was really wild. It was really cool. JP, I got to bring my son. JP's asking me to add him as a friend. Are you already on no, him? He asked me to add him as a friend. If you pay attention to the order of the chat, you yeah. would have figured that out. No. Well, are You're you reading it him? backwards. Okay. So you said Shalom. He says, what's up? Jenny says, don't be a dick. So are you telling him not to be a dick? No, you're right. You, no, Gooba. I wrote Shalom peeps. He responded, add me as a friend. He said, what's up first? No, I said Shalom Feeps. Look at where he's, look at where, do you not see uh, that I'm one is a see. reply to the other? Oh, God, I can't take you anywhere. Okay. You you want to see what I see. This is what I see. Okay. Honestly, this is what I see. Okay. Well, you're, if oh, you look at it in Jenny? the actual room, you'll see that it was a response. See, it, there. It, there's your, your Shalom. He says, you, what's up? And then he says, don't be a dick. I, I, I no, because if you look in the Facebook room, the two comments are oh, one I is a reply to the other. I don't see that. I just showed you what you no, because you're looking at see, I have it set up where both are, so I can see them both. I'm see, talented what, that way. See, see, that's what happens when you <laughs> sat in there and you're the host. It's, it's <laughs> a little weird. I just get to be the co-host. My life is a lot freer. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> um what's up everybody happy hump day and uh hopefully your humping is um if it hasn't happened by now um just let us know when it does happen and uh, of course if you make a phone call why do you need better. to know when people hump i don't know it's just it's something to what do. is with you today was with me any day Oy vez. listen i'm facing the hard reality that gas Oy vez, up, mia. i'm you know, facing what? the hard reality that in in a month's time less than a month's time i'm going to be making the road trip of my life and gas I'm looking at is probably going to be about five or six dollars a gallon. Shit, I'm wondering about that too, right? Yeah. But when they release, they're supposed to be releasing some reserves, and there is talk, and I think it is possible to see a tax holiday. 
in which case would be the precisely good moment to make the trip is during you need to have a flexible schedule. Get, get me get me three 20 gallon tanks of gasoline. I just put in the f- yeah. honey, forget packing clothes. No, we're just gonna pack gas. Today in the news on I-95, <laughs> large ball of fire takes out a plane. <laughs> Family headed to New York ended up in Canada. Not going to New York. Dude. We're not doing that. True story. When I was in the Netherlands, we were going from Snake Sneak to Leavaden by a sailboat, 28 foot sailboat. Right. And my buddy and I almost had a real straight up kissing adventure with the friggin'. <laughs> large ferry boat and we end up making this crazy ass turn and it puts us off course and i don't know where we are and then we, we he doesn't know where we are and i'm laughing my ass off going we're gonna be in germany bermuda triangle lost no, germany man we were gonna yeah. end up in germany <laughs> oh man why don't you just gonna go ahead and wake up over there and just just stop the war get the gas back to where it was. Oh, god it's killing me it is i want to like you know, you know, I, who's I, I want to like inside my brain. I still have enough in me to be a help at, in EMS, and I want to get on a fucking plane, and I want to go over there, and I want to work in a mass unit, and I want to mm-hmm. help. I I freaking want to help. Yeah, I'll give you a week vacation. Go ahead. Not and of course, bite me. Fuck you. There we go. Number one. You, 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 you're still working on FCC mode over there. Like... No, no, no. Well, I'm yeah, doing just that, fine. That. I was being particular about when I was going to drop the first one. Fuck you. Right. Yes. Yeah, there we Fuck go. Fuck you. Yeah, just remember, we can go ahead and say that here. Yes, I know. Yeah, we can say I... that. We can say. Bullshit. I'm a little we slow on the uptake here. I'm still recovering from Monday, so I'm slow on the uptake. <laughs> No, I would think you'd be a little bit loopy and you'd be, you know, more fun. Maybe. No, no, actually, for this way. particular procedure, I'm pretty wide-eyed, and uh, but I'm not bushy-tailed because I do. You I am given a little uh, bit of Ativan. Turn around, turn around. You are bushy-tailed. You have a little I am bunny, today. You, you, you have a little bunny bush back there. It's and you know that's actually the messy bun, but that's because I have super curly hair. The messy bun. You 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 went it's ahead. The and messy bun. Some, some buns in the oven there earlier. I see. I you posted oh, the picture. I ruined it. You ruined it. it. Looked good to me. What happened? What'd you do? I or you know what? When I went school. to cut it, I was not a happy girl. Oh god. You can should the picture looks nice. It's the insidey part that didn't look so great. <laughs> the picture of the insidey part. The inside. Well, most of it, except for this one right down the middle, didn't. Yeah. So one of the worst breads I think I've ever made. Oh, God. <laughs> but it's been a while. I haven't been able to, to be up in there long enough to get it done. And now I'm going to have to try I'm going to have to do it again tomorrow. Yeah, it, it, it does kind of look a little, you know, yeasty, if you know what I mean. Well, it sh- sh- let's see it. Yeah, hang on. Let me pull you up. Of course, there are better ones on. I, I, I've done many, many a good bread. I'm not this saying one, you haven't. Just this one see, is. See, like, Christian came in the kitchen, started talking to me, and I oh, lost track of how many cups of flour. He screwed And then up. I took it out of the oven too soon. And you went ahead and called it food porn still. But I it don't... did look like food porn. It wasn't until later on when I went to cut it that I realized it wasn't so much. It's still a food porn picture. Yeah, it still looks. I mean, I mean it, it did look looks nice. Good. But take a look. It's like it's got wrinkles in the middle, like you know, an old lady or something. I thought I didn't even pick up on it until I went to cut it. And then, oh, uh, no. It was just dope. Yeah, it's a mushy. Uh, yep. I'll have to make a new one tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure you got plenty of time, plenty of dough, 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 dough. Ugh. It's all good. No, not plenty of dough. I make it fresh. Well, okay. It well, you, takes you, like, you, it takes over an hour to make the dough. Jesus. Well, it takes me about a half an hour to make the dough, and then it has to poof for an hour. Has to poop for an hour? What? Poof. Oh, poof. Poof. You said poof. It grows. The yeast bubbles and goes, yay, I'm growing. Scary. Yeah. Um, Don't forget, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, The Charles Richardson Show. It's on YouTube.com forward slash channel forward slash 
UC3QIJH6EGTNZ-EG3990XEQW forward slash featured. We are. Yeah, we're on I that. Forget we're on YouTube that too. <laughs> Why well, you how talented that. you are? Yeah, right. Knowing how to broadcast on yeah. that. Broadcast, yes. a, broadcast a live show that's more than 10 minutes long. Imagine that. Imagine that. And it's on YouTube. It's on the YouTube. Directly and it's on, on the Facebook. Yep. And I and got plenty of subscribers. We're on a bunch of places now. Yeah. We're on a bunch of places. We don't get kicked off for nothing. Imagine that. <laughs> not, a, not at all. Not yeah, at all. It might have to do with the fact that we're not assholes. That is uh, true. We get, we get that there. I can be a bitch, but I am not an asshole. This guy is seriously got a big heart on for Billy. I, f I feel bad for bad Billy, actually, because it's like now he has to watch behind his back so he doesn't oh, get Oh, I end. think we broke him. I think we he's, finally broke him. He's saying he's not mad. He's not. He, no, he, I think he's broken this time. He, seems, he and his 200 oh. or whatever followers he did have on Facebook went bye-bye. Did they really have that many? Uh, on his show page, yes. He did? Which he stupidly never really took a lot of advantage of. Yes. Um, but on his personal page, he only had 55. So he, the here's, here's the fun part. I don't know how detailed you were told. But the fun part of the story hang is. Hang on. Let's see who okay. this call is. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, why would you use my face after I put it on the internet? Yeah, God damn it, Dirk. Yeah, I'm gonna sue you. You should. It's the Dirk. my pillow dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the or that dude that? that did that other guy magazine. What was his name? Uh I don't know. Yeah, the one in the wheelchair. I can't remember his name. One in the wheelchair. He was super rich. He like made a ton of money in oh, women's Steven, uh, magazine, but somebody shot him. Hustler? Was it Hustler he did? Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh yeah, yeah. So he, he was sounds he was like that guy too. That is true. He does. Somebody was taught very nasally. There was a lot of nasal going on in there. Was, yeah, there must have been. <laughs> I wonder how Hustle Magazine is doing, actually. I mean, I'm, I don't even know if they're in business anymore, are they? I don't know. I'm curious now. Nothing I actually need. Oh, yeah. There, uh, Larry Flint. There we go. That's the guy. See, didn't his voice sound like him? Now that you think about it. He, he did sound a little nasally and country. He did. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, that was yeah. a red, that was Oops. a redneck that sign. I might well. get kicked out of that group. I just, you know, I'm right. sharing us, and I think I just shared us in a group. I might get kicked out of for it, but right. hey, that's all right. I don't care. Uh, Billy said he's not worried at all about JoJo. I, I wouldn't think you would be. He's all the way in New York. Doesn't even have enough, jo -jo 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 -jo. enough money to pay for No food. show, no platform, no yeah. nada. He <laughs> broken. We broke him. Ding dong, the dick is gone. The dick is gone. The dick yes. is gone. Ding dong, the dicky dick is gone. Uh, bad Another racist piece of shit put oh. in his place by a woman. Go ahead, Billy. <laughs> so let me tell you my hold rest on, of my on, story. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just picked up on Bad Billy, and you're over here you know, like a maniac over there. I'm Billy, what's up? Fun. Um, no, I was just, I was just gonna say, I don't. Uh feel like I have to watch over my shoulder at all. In fact, I just find it really comical about that last video, how he <laughs> says that uh, I'm not supposed to, or how he thinks I'm not supposed to be showing my firearms on YouTube. <laughs> Fire! I don't yeah. Uh, all, let, let, let's put it this way. We all know that he's like, he's 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 kind of gone. He's done. <laughs> um, and he's over here. He's like, you'll never interfere with my show again. Number one, uh -huh. who are you going on to promote your show? And number two, whoever you do, other, uh, unless you go ahead and do a private video on your website and private audio on your website, there's always going to be somebody that can be called to take your sorry ass down. That requires him to find out how to do his own player. Yeah. <laughs> Which right now, by the way, the player on his website points to a wonderful black channel. That's true. I mean, that's you. You have to applaud that. 
I have to. Well, well done oh, by Live 365. Well, they have my respect. Take, Go ahead, man. I was going to say, Charles, let's take Raw Talk Online, for example, what I said I was going to do. And by the way, I have a cold. Please excuse my voice. Okay. Your excuse. Uh, but uh, let's say you, given the platform and given the uh, – all, all the codes he needs to punch into his encoder and start broadcasting, and you tell him he can do whatever the fuck he wants. What I told him fantasy, I would but... do. Yeah, I know. I know you wouldn't do any of this. I'm just using you as an example, though. Ah, uh, using me. Many women yeah. have done that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I said that uh, you know, if he if he goes up on any platform or any station and starts uh, using his his racist content. First off, let's say, if it was Raw Talk Online, I'd go to you and say, look, this is what's going on on your platform. This is what he's doing. Are you going to tolerate this? Right. If you're going to say, if you're going to say, oh, well, it, it's freedom of speech. He can do what he wants. I would escalate it higher, and I would have gone to Shoutcast. And that that's how I plan on doing this. Right. Well, technically, it's not Shoutcast. But, yeah, I know what you mean. You'd go to the next level higher, which – who I'm buying the time for and say, Hey, there's a uh, racist stuff going on there. And uh, hopefully in my defense, if that was ever to happen, which it's not, but if it, in my defense, I'm hoping the same person that owns that company owns YouTube and they just let him just be, you know, do his thing, which by the way, if you take a look, YouTube, he, he refrains from all that talk. He, he, he goes ahead and code. he talks in code. He says that too. I talk in code. Yeah, we know we know the code that you talk in there. You, you, well, you bots talking, don't. Need... That's what saves them on YouTube is that the bots don't know the code. Yeah, exactly. They don't know the yeah, code. Well, he said, uh, <laughs> N-I-G-S. He's going to talk about some N-I-G-S. Those, you know, thinking, uh, you know, we're not going to figure that out. And I've already turned that shit yeah, in. Yeah, I was like thinking, you know, <laughs> if maybe it was figs, like Fig Newton. Maybe I mean, platforming couldn't happen to a nicer, racist, misogynist piece of shit. Yeah. Let's let, let, let's clarify everything. His Facebook is down. Yes. His Live 365 is down. Yes. He doesn't have any other platform except YouTube. Which He's he also like... been kicked off of Instagram and Twitter. Oh, well. Oh, I yes, yes. I don't think he really cared about those, to be honest with you. No, he, he did at one point. Instagram. Yeah, at one point, yeah. He was searching. He was working his ass off trying to get somewhere else besides YouTube. But YouTube seems to like him. He has a website he doesn't know how to utilize to put any content on without somebody else or some third party helping him. So all he has is his 10-minute videos on YouTube. Which, by the way, I don't understand why it's 10 minutes. Why just do a one 30-minute video? <laughs> Something about his phone... And for whatever reason, he doesn't know how to do it without using his phone. Oh I don't know. It's very bizarre. He tends to make things much more complicated than oh, they actually are. Oh, you know what it are. is? Okay. So it's not live. So he pre-records it on mm -hmm. his phone and uploads it. Because he believes that he can't be live on YouTube until he has a 1,000 followers. Well, I got 34 subscribers, which is almost twice as many as he's got. I know. I'm really and, and we're live right now. Why You're is live, that? bitch. I think you're tech savvy and you actually figured out how to do it. Now, let us well, I not... know how to send an MP3 through email. Well, this is true. You also know how to make yourself live on YouTube, but we're not going to hold that educational class right now. No, 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 not at no, all. no, 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 no. <laughs> let your 30 years of experience oh, in CB radio guide you on your way. <laughs> all right, so, man, hey, thanks for calling in and uh, listen, get, you know, feel better, man. Take some uh, flow nays or something. I will. All, All right. right. Later. Later. I'm going right. to Chad Philly there of Outlaw Radio calling us in to give us his three cents. Or four, for what right. it was worth, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, he's he's got some valuable. It was worth. It's worth a heck of a lot more than a Russian ruble right now, which is less than a penny. Hell of a lot more than Joe's life. Just saying. I mean, I'm not saying you don't do anything bad to him. I'm just saying it's like, um, you know, he's over there bouncing from house to house or home to home. And it's like. Next thing you know, might be an insane asylum. We don't know. I'm not, I'm not even sure if they would take him in. But he is getting views, though. I will tell you that. 
I don't know if it's just because everybody's sharing it and, and, you know, Hey, look at this, what he said about me. And this is 19 whole subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. For whatever reason, YouTube doesn't care what he says, horrible things, even types it out. That's perfectly okay. I, I mean, but they'll ding too. people who are trying to share scientific data and they don't even pay attention that they're on this, the right side. Yeah. And it's just bizarre. Yeah, I don't get it's it bizarre. either. It's like, you know, he can go ahead and 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 you know, do use the 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 code name for black people that he uses. Well, for example, 2 days ago on YouTube, he produced this video. I will deal with you Billy jerk off motherfucker loser. Oh, you mean uh That's the title. You, you, you mean this so one? So Billy Painter making threats out there that he's going to do this and he's going to do that and he's going Hey, First off, number one, he didn't threaten. He did it. He kicked you off, and you're over there crying about it. Billy, you can't get me off of YouTube, you fucking loser. What no, a- but I got you off of Facebook. Facebook, asshole. 365. Oh, we can get so, you off of it. So, the okay, face- listen, we'll have, you can have your YouTube. You can go ahead and have your YouTube. Nobody cares. So the Facebook thing. On his personal profile, he actually shared a memory But in that memory, he referred to people of color in a very not okay way. N word. And this was no, actually black. What blank? Black something. And he, um, it was was the funny thing about it. Like I said, is this him? This is him sharing a memory from his past. So, a dear friend uh, reported that particular post for the racist due to ethnicity that it was. And within short order, suddenly that post was gone. And then there shortly after that, the entire account was gone. And subsequently the show account is gone. Interesting. Yes. See, honestly, so he basically got himself banned off yeah. of Facebook he by sharing himself. a memory. <laughs> so they didn't catch the memory at first. Now they got the memory and now Correct. they're yeah. When somebody reported it, pointing out the fact that it was, in fact, actually race racist against ethnicity. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm giddy with joy. <laughs> I, I'd be too. I'd be too. And, and all, also all the videos that are being done. Oh, I'm, I hate Matt Connaughton. And because uh, he 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 Ooh. went ahead and organized all this against me. <laughs> Dirk, Billy, Charles Richardson, everybody. Now his last, his very last video on YouTube is Matt's favorite. The last one? Oh, this, so he... the very last one on March 8th. It has 33 views. Um, it's when he declares Matt the mastermind. The mastermind. And the creator of all of you. <laughs> he is the man behind um, the curtain. Yeah, 33 views. Yeah. <laughs> Here's his joke. This is Matt's favorite. Come on, Joe, talk. Why the hell can't Joe talk? So he can get more publicity. Oh, wait okay? a second. Let me start. Over. It's like Matt Carrington wants me <laughs> to talk about him so he can get more publicity. Okay. Fair enough. I'll talk about Matt Carrington. I'll say that Matt Covington is the worst kind of slime bag uh, there is. Uh, That uh, he um, manipulated this whole thing against me with Billy Painter and Dirt Dickwad and the the Jared Slime Bag Show and Charles Richardson. I don't know if there's there's anybody else out there, but... Oh, I'm sure there is. uh, (laughs) No, he instigated it. He is the brainchild to get all these people after me. And Billy Painter uh, went to Live 365 like the fucking little punk coward bitch that he is and uh, turned me in. (laughs) But, you know, but you see, everybody thinks that that I'm this angry guy for what Billy Painter did. Billy Painter is a low-life scumbag. He's the worst kind of human being there is. 
Can you just say that about Matt? So who's worse, Billy or Matt? I mean, I'm lost. I'm, well, Who he does declare one? Matt the mastermind, though. Yeah. Oh. So I think that ups him a notch. Okay. So Matt and then. And the creator of Billy Painter, too. Well, damn it. So where am I? Am I so you're in there, too. You're he, you're his creation as well. Oh. Like him. A loser like him. <laughs> because he benefits by getting more publicity for himself. See, Dirk. Yeah, all 33 views. That's a lot of publicity. <laughs> same way. He uses my name and my image. To generate publicity. Your image is horrible. If I wanted an old geezer that didn't comb his hair and had freaking nasty ass teeth. He no me. longer hides the bad hair days. He's all oh, yeah. full. He's he's come into his full blossom. I'm very proud of him yep. for, for owning it. It's good. Yep. He just needs to dye the bottom ball tickler to match the top. He for himself. It's an angry little He's troll. You just want to go like this and mess his hair up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking jerk off. The only one that doesn't seem to do that Ooh. is Charlie Richardson. Charlie there you go. Richardson. See? See, I I'm the good guy here. This is why I said you never know. You never know. You never this know. Oh, my oh, said I, you I, never I, know. I gotta hear this again. That is Charlie Richardson. No. But he right. uses my name and my image to generate publicity for himself. Billy Painter, the same kind of fucking jerk off. The only one that doesn't seem to do that is Charlie Richardson. But Charlie Richardson is a two face, 10 face, and a fucking 20 face piece of shit, which is the reason why I don't like him. But I would have to say that Charlie Richardson doesn't need me for a hit for publicity. Okay. So in that <laughs> sense, that's pretty cool. And I respect Charlie Richardson, but I. Wow. I like, I guess I have a new best friend. He respects you. Yeah. Even though you I know. go, you know, even, even though, though I, you're two face, 10 face, 20 face, 20 face, 20 face piece of shit. <laughs> How what? many monkeys jumping on the bed? Oh, uh, sorry. We, <laughs> I got distracted. Do we want to continue? Go for it. I don't like him because he's a fucking 20 face cocksucker. Oh, now I'm a cocksucker. Well, well no, if you were twenty-faced cocksucker, you'd I'm make a lot 20 of money. Faced. I mean, come on. Yeah, the I mean, wife 50, could pimp your ass out and pay off the house in no time. Fifty bucks. Twenty at once. Fifty bucks times twenty. That's about a thousand dollars right there. I don't, there and probably wouldn't even need to go that long. Maybe 15, 20 minutes, and just get everybody off. And you know, you could just do round. one of those a day and pay off the house in short order. Shit. Pimp your ass okay. out. I'm thinking about getting <laughs> two more heads. Jesus Christ. And Matt Covington is a 25 face cocksucker. <laughs> all this stuff, okay, to benefit him. And he. All right, I got to ask you real quick before we continue that the, the, what is now, obviously, Matt is refrained completely because I made a comment and he did not read the comment with his name in it. He completely refrained from mentioning Crazy Joe anymore. Is that from management or is that Matt? I think right, you have Matt. to ask Matt. Well, I didn't pick it. up on that. Damn it, Matt's not here. Well, then I guess you're going to have to hold your question till the future. No, I can't. Because I'll be able to ask him when he comes home, and I'll know much sooner than you will. Yeah, I'm you'll just have to wait till Friday, and I'll tell you then. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just kind of curious because I typed in a message. I says we just need to send Crazy Joe to Russia. And, you know, they, they, they won't be able to last against a real New Yorker. And he says, Charles mentioned, we need to send a certain somebody that we can't, we don't mention here anymore. It, oh, know. yeah. The, yeah. He did have a new name for it. It was um, Brooke, Brooklyn Stacey Billion. Martinez. Stacey. <laughs> but, yes. I'm just, but I'm just saying, is that like, you know. So there's Mr. Krabs and then yeah. there's Stacey Martinez. Interesting. I yes. didn't, didn't pick up on the Stacy. Like I said, is that his creation or is that management saying don't mention this douchebag anymore? I, I, I I'm kind of curious. Um, you never had a problem with it before. I'm pretty sure the last thing that they said to Matt was. <laughs> <laughs> I have this vision of my head somewhere. There's some FCC office that's got a fucking chain mail going of the audio of whatever message he fucked up and left on there. It's like, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Matt's more PG than the FFC. I mean, right. seriously. Yeah. But I want to hear that message. Like, can you just imagine whoever got that message? Hello, yeah, you got to be aware now. You know what uh, New York is. Hey, we keep track of these things. <laughs> hey, this is uh, this is crazy, Joe. And uh, I'm, I'm wanting to report Matt Carrington to the FCC. He's a yes, uh, Matt Commington. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to, he was from WMNH, uh, those douchebags in New Hampshire, uh, so, Dick yeah. and, and Billy Dickwad. 98% and, white there, you know. You know 98% white. And, uh, you know, that, and, and he says the some hillbillies. Pretty nasty, he says some pretty nasty things, even though he doesn't say it on the radio. It's pretty nasty. I've heard him say it. Uh, I can't prove it, but you know, it's, it's stuff that he said that it gets me into trouble. He took me off live 365. He's the master brain. No, he's the you got yourself booted off a of live 365 yeah. with your so, mouth. Uh, yeah, listen, I just said the N word like maybe five or 10,000 times, but it shouldn't be. I have never heard it evil. so many times in my life. Yeah, I know. In uh, all Bill, honesty. Billy says, is Jojo stupid uh, to see that people can think for themselves and make their own decisions? No, apparently not. Not let's not forget Jojo saying he's gonna sue WMNH for violating his constitutional rights. No, <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> sue us for definition of character. Yeah. <laughs> Defication of character, maybe. Uh let's uh let's oh read some my comments God. here. Uh so Ooh. Dirk actually I thought Dirk was on Robin Slim today because I, I was bummed out. It's like really on IPM Nation, I'm going against Robin Slim from six to nine thirty. Shit, no wonder I don't get any listens on IPM Nation. Stop it. Rick says, man, who the fuck was that caller? Um, Daniel Munoz uh, agreed Larry Flint, was it? Jim Haynes <laughs> from MyRadio.rocks. How are you doing? Better audio quality on MyRadio.rocks and watching here. Awesome. Loving well, it. Cool. There, must be, there must be something going on with the, the audio feed on uh, Facebook then. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Rocky says uh, he made a YouTube video about you guys a few hours ago. Really? Okay, we got to take a look at that. Maybe find out what's going on. Uh, we have a YouTube uh, viewer that says Von Rent. I have no idea what that means, but thank you very much either. for listening on YouTube. And then Jenny says, drop the link or I'm, and drop it like it's hot. Something like that. <laughs> I All did right. not, but okay. So, what was the, so I got to see here. So he did a video a few hours ago? He I, didn't. I I don't see I that. I couldn't. I. That's why I said it because I think that the one that you just played was the last one. Yeah, yeah. I think Rocky. I think he's still licking his wounds in a corner somewhere. Well, his mouth caught up to him. I'm like saying he's been going three, four videos a day for the past week. Like he's been, he's been at it. Like you know, he, can, he just can't stop his YouTube fascination. So. Anywho, um, no more Crazy Joe show, even though it never started to begin with. Although, <laughs> it, know. you know what? It did. No, there's decades of talk about having one. Yeah. But that's <laughs> about it. Uh, Billy Smith, which is John Monroe in, uh, in, 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 uh, Billy, in Billy's body. Facebook begged me or bagged me for 30 days. I said, <laughs> this pedophile needs an ass beaten. You shouldn't have said that. Billy, a.k.a. John Monroe, you should have said this pedophile needs to be shot because that's what one of these people did. That's what uh, Cain Velasquez did, got in trouble, got busted for, you know, shooting at a pedophile. I'm thinking, bravo, you need to make this motherfucker a cop. Come on now. Uh, I'm sorry. It was that video. I thought it was a few hours ago. No, no. Sorry, Rocky. The other guy on Jenny's podcast, unfortunately, has to verify that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy well he did come from my tribe he did he did it you're, be... you're you're like you're in our tribe now it's been long enough has it been it's been quite oh. a while actually i don't remember to be See, honest. and joe brought all of that together all of these crazy personalities from all over the place all found each other because of his asinine behavior and the desire to shut it down He's going to shut it down. Right. Burn it's it. the rare instance mm. when the rare instance when deplatforming someone is absolutely warranted. I'm I'm just very, very surprised. Well, I can't be. No, I'm not surprised. I was absolutely flabbergasted that he was as bad as he, he was. I honestly thought there was hope. 
I really, there's really, Matt. and truly thought there was. There's Matt. There we, can, we, we can ask him the question now. So, Matt, I know you're <laughs> listening now, so go ahead either call in or type in. Was it you or management that chose to stop mentioning Crazy Joe by name? That's the question that everybody is on their edge of their seat, of their pants, ready to take a dump, wanting to know. So we need to we, we need to know. Bill, you went did ahead I, and did a, uh, a meme that says free Kane from uh, free what? what? Free Kane, uh, Kane Velasquez, the, the guy. You that, mean like Cain and Abel? No, not Cain and Abel. No, no, definitely not that. No, no, no. <gasps> wow. Ooh. It was man. Dun, dun, dun. Man, so, man. So I guess uh, I guess you were wrong, Jenny. The last thing that management told them was not. <laughs> it was not a lot. Well, I said to Maddie, I said that the last thing that Matt said to you about him was, and I laughed quite loudly. Yeah. Into so the I other guess, guy's ear. Yeah. I guess they just had enough of him. And it's like, you know, listen, how long is this going to take? I doubt it very seriously had anything to do with threats <laughs> or oh, God. I no, mean, for definition of character. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, here's wait a minute. Wait a minute. We could we can go ahead and do definition of character right now. Let's do character definition. No, that's not the way he said it. It was the he other way around. Definition of character. He yes. wants to know what the definition of character is. Well, it's no, he wants to moral. sue you for definition of character. He, wants he to always sue prefaces the... it with He's... suing you. I know, I know, I know. I'm over here trying to make light of it. I'm over here maybe trying to settle. Let's settle the lawsuit. Here's the definition of character. The mental okay. and moral qualities distinctive to an individual or a person in a novel, play, or movie. <laughs> well, we definitely know it's not It's it's not Crazy Joe. He ain't no character. Because uh, first off, Unfortunately. Yeah. We don't know what the hell he is. Yeah. But there, there's, there's the definition of character. I mean, I can't we just settle already on it? You know, we'll just settle for knowledge. Here, Joe, this is what definition of character is. Enjoy. Defamation of character is a different thing. Defe defecation of character, that's just something really stinky. That sounds like you upchucked something. Uh-huh. Definitely. That's not a good thing. So I'm over here watching prices skyrocketing in gas. It's gotten as high as four dollars and nineteen cents here locally. Which oh is, no, we're we're way higher. We, when you say way higher, how how high? We've we got places that are over five. Shit. Five for just regular 80, 80, 87 octane. No, I think. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, where we're at because I I just do eighty seven octane in my uh, on my hybrid. So I'm over here watching. Okay, so the current average for regular is 423 for diesel, 495. That's killing ambulance companies and gas. Oh man, and truckers. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Which means yeah, everything so in the grocery store is going to go up because it's that much more money to get everything. I, I don't. I suspect we're going to be over five in short order. Don't say five before April 8th, because that's when I come Ugh. back. We need to keep it as low as possible. California is at 557. I don't care about California. California is always going to be a dollar and a half. They're always super else. high. Yeah, because it's the taxes over there. So I'm over here watching all the well, gas prices go up, and I'm over here trying to calculate the trip and what's going to happen. So I got the gas buddy thing there where it's, uh, it's the, got yeah. the calculator. So before on my hybrid, going from Port Charlotte, Florida, which is why I'm down here, to the northern northernest place I would go, which would be Manchester, and it calculates two hundred and eighty eight dollars in gas round trip. Mm. Not bad, right? I mean, that's for for a you know for like a, a three thousand mile trip round trip. That's not bad. Now, since gas has gone up to four seventeen, I recalculated. And it gave me three hundred and fifty-seven dollars, mm -hmm. only up by sixty bucks. That's thirty bucks each way, so it's not technically breaking the bank. I mean, sixty bucks I can I can earn in a couple hours' work. I'm not really worried about that. 
And of course, we're going to have some extra cash because we're going to make some stops. We're going to go over to Carlos Bakery in New Jersey, see the cake boss. And if we don't see the that cake, boss, we're going cool. to buy some fucking donuts over there and some there sweet. You go. Yep. I'll be rolling in into Manchester on a diabetic coma by the time that happens. Um, Holy shit. What? The oil prices are insane. Yeah. I just thought I'd take a peek and see home heating oil. um, $5.35 cash price with 150 million, 150 gallon minimum. Holy shit. Yeah. And that's all because of the war. You cannot blame this on Joe. No, I was, well, no, no, no. We can't. Blame well, him. hopefully, I I do think that it's a good possibility that we'll see some kind of a federal tax vacay. We need a little something. bit to ease some of the burden on us yeah. if they release more of the strategic. But one thing I keep hearing is that there is an ability to make to collect more domestically. And it's already permitted and it already exists. It's up to the companies to ramp up higher. Yep. So, but they're making a shitload of money right now. So they're incentivized to ramp up slowly. Yeah. Slowly, but surely. Yeah, and, all, I, uh, and all the more time I'm over here. It's like, well, I'm not going to be able to buy this, this masterful pizza pie over there that uh, Matt gets his hands on every Friday. You know, I'm going to have to settle for like, you know, some, some garbage heap, you know, single slice. That's it. I'm not going to be able to do that. I have to cut I'm back. looking here. Neighboring Massachusetts, the Boston Herald is saying that the old home heating oil is close to $6 a gallon. I assume that's high. That's very high. You gotta, you gotta when remember, I had my house in Andover, my, I think my last oil prices were somewhere around $2.50, $2.80. And that was a lot. Mm-hmm. That was actually more pricey than... It, it was when I originally bought the house. Now it's Jesus. What happened to the stimulus a, checks? We need some stimulus. This checks is the kind that. of shit that what ends up happening is people run short and they're trying to milk through to spring because it's just around the corner. Yep. So they'll put diesel in their house. Yeah. You know, they'll just go. But at at the price of diesel, I, I don't. It's not going to be much better. You, you know, diesel. No, the hot. diesel oh, prices yeah. are just as bad. Yeah, we need them. This there has to be a number of things that that take place, not just from the United States, though. It's got to be other countries have got to do similar things in order to bring that pi- price. What was at it? Least was more it, stabilized. But was it you that mentioned it, or Matt that said that they're going to bring oil from Venezuela now? They're close to signing a deal with that or something. There's what? actually no. Um, yeah, that's something that's been in the media just in the last 24 hours or so. When Trump was president, he um, put some constraints on Venezuela and some penalties, meaning that the United States wouldn't buy more of their products because he didn't like something that they did. I forget exactly what it was. So now um, there's a negotiation going on, and Venezuela actually released some Americans that were being held in jail there. And I forget what the exact reason is. I'd have to find the article for us. Um, it was nothing to do with oil, though. I thought there was. But it, you know, no, it is. It is. It is. Oh, it because is. it opened up a positive with the United States to get the United States to come to the table and say, okay, you're serious about this. Maybe mm-hmm. we can renegotiate. We'll lift some of the constraints. We'll buy more of your product. So we're not getting it from Russia. This could end up, I mean, what I would love to see is, is somehow you know, places, places like that are, are, or places here domestically are increasing production that we end up finding ways to do things more economically than we were utilizing Russia. Yeah. That being said, we don't use a lot of Russian oil, which is good. We use more gas than we do oil. Correct. So it's not going to hurt us as bad as it is some of the other countries, but when it goes up around the, the rest of the world, it's going to go up here. We're not isolated from that. No. The only way to 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 do that would be a mass effort of domestic producers to ramp it up. Of you know, our our negotiating with other countries like Venezuela and perhaps getting a better price. If that can happen, maybe we don't ever go back to taking anything from Russia. Maybe Russia fucks itself. 
Wasn't and it loses whole everything. Thing, though, That's what I want. I want Russia to lose fucking everything. Wasn't they're, that the whole thing, though, when, when, when Trump was in office, wasn't that the whole thing was to go ahead and make sure that we can provide our own oil? We, wouldn't, you, we weren't depending on foreign oil. There was not one of in the things part, to do. In part, yes. Okay. Well, we, we must have lost you know, some type of trajectory on that because apparently we're so preoccupied with you know, overseas oil that it's being affected now. Now, the one place that we get our oil, the Taliban controls, and the other place we get our oil now is being, you know, it's it's part of a war. There's so, a series of things here that it's it's like a house of cards falling down on yeah. itself of things that have that have been done wrong. Listen, Please. if we if we went ahead and had the option, let's say we're going to drill off the coast of uh, Alaska or off the coast of one a place or a state that doesn't have any drilling going on, would you support it? Say that again in my good ear. So, <laughs> I don't know. Attention, Jenny. Uh, yes, no. <laughs> Jenny is here now. She was finding you the article and listening to you, and, oh, and the brain it. went, bye-bye. Okay. No, so <laughs> right now we have certain areas that we're drilling offshore. They're talking about, like, drilling off the coast of Florida, drilling off the coast of the Carolinas, or, or whatever. I knew that was, that was happening way before. If we started drilling in these places that they say we're not allowed to drill anymore, would you be uh, would you be opposed to it? Would you? No. Okay. Why? I would be supportive of increasing domestic production at this point right now because we've got to help. Uh, we got to help businesses. We got to help families. Families right. are, are struggling, and it's only going to get worse. With buying groceries is so expensive now. I remember when I was a kid, five bucks I could go and get a gallon of, of milk and a loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter, and at least have something. You can't do that now. In in this. If we, the other side, but here's the other side of that. Yes, we do that. How we'd only, we just don't only do that. Mm -hmm. We then need to invest in more renewable energies. I've been to the Netherlands and I've seen the wind, the windmill farms and no, they don't kill birds and they work really great. In fact, they don't have ugly wires everywhere. They've actually buried their wires. So they have this beautiful um, view, beautiful uh environment for animals the animal production there is just insane how big things get and how so, much so what that, that was, so wasn't that the, that was the problem it's like it was going to damage wildlife the fishing it, it doesn't it doesn't no. it does no trump kept saying it kills birds and it doesn't kill birds it just doesn't kill birds it's a just why not but it produces energy me. renewable energy that we can utilize the more renewables that because we need this yeah. bottom line is we, if we don't make changes right now, there isn't going to be a planet. We got to, we got to separate from the rest of the world. We have to. We I, can't. I mean, in, we in, have in to all to, work. In regards to the whole planet and everything, that's a complete. That's another discussion. Somewhat. We are the assholes. Well, We're the assholes in the bunch. When I went overseas, they did. Let me tell you, I learned a lot when I went to Europe and saw that they take it more seriously than we do. They don't just have glass and cans. They have clear glass, green glass, brown glass. They have cans. They, they have paper. Everything is separated. Very little goes into the trash can. Everything is separated. And people just do it. You go to the grocery store, you bring your own bag. Well, oh, that's, bring... how, that's how it and is in some of the places that over here. Like if, they do like if you more go to recycling. A, if you go to all these. Without having to get paid for it. They do more. What you can get... It, the bottom line is that they do a hell of a lot more recycling than we do. Yeah. They're not as trashy as us. Trash in the street. Everybody recycles. Are you trying to this, say we're trash? I am. Okay. We uh we have everything huge and we are just and we throw away shit. You go over there and the grocery store, the mass majority of it is fresh. 70% of their groceries are produced domestically. Okay. So they don't see a lot of the issues that we have. Yeah. We outsource so much of our food. Everything we get from everywhere else. America got lazy and we yeah. stopped making shit. We no, stopped we, we building just, and doing we, things. We just figured it would be cheaper just to go ahead and, and get it overseas for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, let's, so, take, uh, let's take a couple of comments here and then we're going to take a break here. Uh, Billy says two cups, one crazy Joe. Uh, you have 455 regular gas there. That's in Connecticut, though. How can it be 455 for regular gas there? And for, well, I guess it's not too bad. No, not much of a difference. 
for 20 the eastern seaboard's right. not doing as badly as the western seaboard right now but it's catching up uh britney greer wnba star held in yes. russian jail they said for drug possession of weed we'll we'll touch on that after the break absolutely uh, and uh cannabis oil so uh but yeah. did she get released or something or she's still it held? was a vape pen oh god <sighs> it was a vape pen it's a vape pen, you and mother. supposedly a cannabis vape pen. God, I I truly don't believe it. Fuck I you. I honestly believe they saw an American and grabbed her. Yep, there you go. That's yeah. what I think, and that's what happens when you go on a cruise to Mexico. They see American, grab them, oh, grab them. We're gonna take a break. Got a couple of songs. Revel, uh, Revel Nine, and the Shapes coming at you. Six minutes, seven minutes with this with the the bit. And we're coming right back here. Don't go. Actually, let's uh, tell you what we got going on. Not only the uh, the Brittany Griner, we also have Disney in the news. We have an assistant principal who got canned. You'll be I'll not believe what he got canned for. And also, there was a guy that had a pig heart transplant that was so successful. Yeah, not successful anymore. And the strawberry shortcake hey. has earned a trophy. We'll turn all that and more right after yeah. this. Don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. The Charles Richardson Show will return after this. I wait. Just sapping fingers on the floor. Well, you're nothing at all. I hate. And all the emptiness that thrives on me now. Such a senseless tragedy. Thought there'd be more of me than bow and leave the stage. I slip right through the moments in my way. And I step right through the motions that I make. And it was wrong all along, never be again. I'll take these memories down from all the walls so we can watch them burn. Just wait, I'll show you all that you've done to make a man now. Such a senseless tragedy Thought there'd be more of me Than bow and leave the stage I slip right through the moments in my way And I step right through the motions that I made Let's take a moment here to walk you through so you see it all. Such a senseless tragedy. Is all that be more of me than bow and leave the stage? As I slip right through the moments in my way, and as I step right through the emotions that I made. Again. I know that she knows I'm not the hurting kind. 
When I saw you across the floor, you were the girl I've been looking for. In your bright dress and high heel shoes, why the hell I had nothing to lose? I should have known when I looked at you, what I saw was never the truth. You're too good, too good to be true, but why the hell I had nothing to lose? I know that she knows I'm not the hurting kind, and she knows that I know she played out with my mind. You know I'm not the hurting kind. Jump right back, jump back, ba 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 ba. Don't lose track of what we had, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. It's a fit love is love and hate, but my God, how you could not wait to show the world how you've been scorned, have your lies forever torn. I know that she knows I'm not the hurting kind, and she knows that I know she played out with my mind. You know I'm not the hurting kind. Jump right back, jump back, ba 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 ba. Don't lose track of what we had, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba. And all the lies you said were spoken. You spat them out, couldn't say no more. And what we have is now left broken. Two pieces lying on the floor. We all these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, oh, you know the you know the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take Biden Joel to the old folks home, cause it's Mine don't even work no more. Gonna take banjo to the old folks' home, cause it's mine don't even work no more. Corn popping Cadillacs, Lady Gaga's got my back. I can't remember Jack, cause my brain is melted wax. We hold these truths to be self evident, you'll see. All men and women are crazy, you know the thing. Can't even remember nothing. I don't even know why. Running, I can't even remember nothing. If Corn Pop was a bad dude, if there's no teleprompter, I begin to stutter. Blonde leg hairs in the water, can I sniff your daughter? Challenge you to push ups, tell the working man to shut up. Socialists are fed up, Bernie, you've been set up. Can't even remember nothing. I don't even know why I'm running. Can't even remember nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take Banjo to the old folks' home, cause his mind don't even work no more. Gonna take Banjo to the old folks' home, cause his mind don't even work no more. That's a stupid way to say it. You know, Donald Trump was asking. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Don't be a pussy. Call Charles now. 813-699-5353. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see Matt running back and forth behind Jenny over there. Trying to yes, like, he yeah, is. Yeah. Looks like he's lost his keys or something. No. <laughs> he just... For whatever reason, likes to do things in the doorway of his office rather oh. than in the office or in the living room. It's in the doorway. 
Anyway, want to go ahead and show some love over there to uh, Hall Culling and Contracting. Karen and David, you know who we're talking about. They're the team that actually comes out, does hard work, and they don't rip you off. So go ahead and call them for an estimate, 941-204-1264. If you're in the Southwest Florida area, heck, in the Florida area, period, and even beyond, give them a call. Maybe they can work something out for you. 941-204-1264. They handle all types of work, home improvements, odd jobs, lawn maintenance, car repairs, much, much more. Again, 941-204-1264. Set up an estimate. Hard work, fair prices. That's Hulk calling in contracting. Booyah! You know, the, the people that do charge a lot is Disney. Mm-hmm. And they keep charging and keep trying. And you know what? Maybe I'm just a sucker. Maybe I'm just yeah. that much of a sucker to go ahead and say, yes, Disney, punch me again with some high prices. I'm still going to pay the, the, the annual pass. I'll still pay it. Come on. Punch me what again. What do you guys pay for that? Um, Right now, before the increase. It was like sixty nine dollars a month. A month. A month. For the whole family? No, for me. Up. Uh, holy shit! Now keep in mind that is for unlimited access to all four Disney parks. So if I was like there at Orlando, we'd probably go like once a week. Which can you go a- on the rides? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's no tickets. I mean, once you get in, you 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 go on the rides. You can go on the rides as many times as you want, as long as you know the lines don't get crazy, which they have. That's been. still a lot of money. Oh yeah, yeah. Per don't person. Crazy. Per person. There's three of you. Three of us. Three of yeah. Three of us use. Yes. That's so insane. Me and Alyssa. Well, again, this is before the increase. The pass that we have for Florida residents. Was uh six it's sixty four and change a month, and that is no blackouts, at free access to all four parks, and we can hop to the park and park you know f- the same day. Now for the same park pass, they've raised it. The new passes that I will have to renew in July. They've raised it. If I want to keep the same. Stuff I have no blackout dates, free access to all the parks, $93 a month. Holy fuck. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna do it? No. We are gonna I'm going to go to the next step below it and suffer some blackout dates and still keep the same price payment that I was getting. I think it's like a couple of bucks more. But yeah, man, that you live there, that's not really that big of a deal, though. Yeah, I, I, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, $800 for a year pass and break it down in 12 months. That's not too bad. Mm. You, know, you, you got to think it's like, you know, we go there. In your opinion. In my opinion, you're right. But we used to go like at least once a month. So let's take 12 times, 12 times, say, a single park pass, not even a park hopper. A single park pass, $125 to get in. Wow. 12 times. That's a deal. I'll take that. I'm paying far less. If you're going to go that much, sure. Yeah. I'm paying far less than $1,400 for a park pass. Listen, our family is Disney blood. I mean, mean, if you take a look. Everybody's got their thing. Yeah. I I, look. And you know what? And I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So this, the audio quality may suck, but hold on. Why? Just hold on. I don't want to hear it's a small world. No, well, you're not going to hear it's a small world. Stop. I don't want to hear Heidi Ho. Oh, wait, no. that's not that one. Not, Heidi Ho is Tim Allen. No, Heidi Ho is Mr. Pooh. Mr. Pooh? Yes. No. South Park. Oh, yeah. Heidi Ho. Heidi Ho. Okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh, yeah. seriously i think you're nuts over this whole i mean i do i think no, it, it's I think it's it, not it really isn't <sighs> uh Alyssa's Did here you just oh good <laughs> so let me get the, the camera so she can so we can see her she actually has the best hair out of all three of us really yeah you, you must be 
Yeah, Je- Je- Jenny. Yeah, uh, Jenny's got I'm, the dirty bun. Back I got the I got the the messy thing I going. Got the, I've been working all day and my hair's a mess. Uh, it ain't on, that much so. of a mess. I mean, come on, let's take a look at you there. Yeah, turn around. I, I, I'm not gonna turn. All right, now <laughs> save that shit for the other room. <sighs> How dare you? Why the hell can't I do this? Um, I do have because it's Did saying you, fuck you. Today was <laughs> the day that the parades came back at Disney. I did not hear that. I Festival heard that they were bringing... Fantasy was back today. Oh, nice. Very nice. I wasn't sure if that was what you were talking about Disney for. No, no we were talking about how their prices have increased dramatically. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. They, they, they always do. It sucks. Do they charge you less for the kiddo or is it all the same price? No. Nope. nope, same price. But he has a different can he has a different uh pass. Um it's not it's if, got more blackouts though. Well, if That's he was problem. if we were doing like single day tickets, then it would be less for him, but because he has an annual pass that, and it's the same price. Right. Mm. Y'all are nuts. <laughs> We are nuts. We we are a Disney home. I'm sorry. That's that's the way it is. Hey, it's not just a thing. It's a way of life. I get it. Stefan uh, had his school pictures today. Yeah. And the shirt that he wore was a Hawaiian shirt that has Stitch on it. <laughs> what are you showing us? You drink way too much soda. Just saying. Oh, why are you going into the hey, messy Google, house? turn on living room. Hang on. <laughs> so we have all of our decorations. Uh, wow. This is on the Disney. coffee show. Oh, that's neat. Is that like a choo-choo train? It's the monorail. Oh, from Disney. Oh, wow. Oh, I like the wedding picture. This is a puzzle she drew or she put up. I'm just telling you, this is how Disney we are. I can see how Disney you are. Yeah. So. I think there's treatment for that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Let's stop that. We'll pass on any treatment for that. (laughs) Uh, where's Jenny? There she is. Okay. I'm around. All right, let me get rid of this. So, it's so I. Wing. What am I showing you? What are you showing me now? Uh, we're showing you that that we're doing a show still. All right. So. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Um. So Disney apparently. Uh. There, there's a there, there was a movement down here in Florida about something about the don't say gay bill that yeah, uh, passed. Santas was uh. Well, number one. You're not going to get it. So what happens if I say gay? Gay, 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 gay. That's the nickname of the bill. It's it's a slang nickname to the bill, but it's not exactly what it says. But what the, the bill puts a gag order on teaching anything outside of a nuclear family. I, I, I still don't understand it. You can't have a book in there that says Johnny has two moms. That would be against the law, and uh, depending on what the bill says, it, it could be a fine. It could be a jail sentence. All right. Walt Disney Company now publicly is opposing the Florida's controversial Don't Say Gay bill. CEO Bob Chapek uh, said he will meet with Florida Governor DeSantis, and Disney will donate $5 million to organizations, including the human rights campaign that work to, forget, to, to protect, not forget, protect LGBTQ plus rights. Chapek acknowledged that the company's original original approach didn't get the job done. So on Wednesday, he he addressed the company's stance on the bill and acknowledged that its original approach didn't get the job done. Um, <clears throat> DeSantis office confirmed that Chapek had called, but said no meeting had been scheduled yet. The statement read: "The governor's position has not changed. Disney is known for family friendly company that creates wholesome entertainment for kids." The same Florida parents who take their families to Disney also support uh, support parental rights in education because they do not want their young children exposed to inappropriate content about sex and gender theory at school. Disney faced pressure for not opposing the bill publicly, particularly after it was revealed 
that the company provided financial support for some of the bill's backers in the state legislature. So it, it kind of goes on and on and on and everything like that. Uh, number one, Disney has a gay day. They have a lot of things that deal well, with that's LGBTQ. Not sponsored by Disney, though. No, but they don't oppose it either. Right. They're they're welcoming to it. Um, Large businesses in Florida are going to be asked to take a side on this because it is such a huge issue. And it 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 goes further than just a gag order. It allows people to sue school systems, teachers individually. You know, if a teacher makes the wrong or a perception of something a teacher says could literally lead to a lawsuit. See, that's because and, the and language that, itself is, so is, is rather vague. That is so stupid. It really is. Well, how it's hard to not have vague language when you're trying to capture something like this that's and it's awful. I mean, well, kiddos going to school deserve to think that they're just as normal as their other students in a classroom. That, that's exactly doesn't matter right. who yeah. they're. We live in such a different world now. You know, you've got grandparents living with parents. You have grandparents raising kids. You have two moms. You have two dads. You have my two moms and my two dads. There are so many different ways that families are made up these days and people are more open to creating different families you know there's even been an uptick on adult adoptions or you even have two and a half men no. but it was you remember with three's company when we were when i was a kid three's company was the edgy tv show because yeah, it listen, was a man living thought, with two young ladies yes what i thought of that was this guy was getting laid twice a night or at the same time there was a threesome every night and then that's why he died because but, he got so much of it. No, uh, yeah, he, he had a heart attack. He did just kind of poop. <laughs> but the thing you is, is your governor, me. DeSantis, who wants to run for president, has blatantly said this hits his desk. He's signing it into law, period. In which case it goes into effect, I believe, July 1st ish. All right. Here's Crystal. What if Johnny actually has two moms, though? Can Johnny say, This is my mom and my other mom? Well, yeah, exactly. potentially, but if her teacher says something positive in response, the teacher could then be sued by Janie's mother, who overheard the conversation. Well, what happens if uh, Janie's mom overheard the conversation? But well, I, I don't understand this. This is so stupid. Here's the thing, though. Freedom Johnny of speech, should hello? be allowed to say that he has two moms, and his teacher should say, Acknowledge well, it. that's good. Yes. Or something. But positive about it because you don't want to say something negative and make him feel like he's this is also pulling all material out of classrooms right so these kiddos can't even see anything that resembles them in the classroom anymore yeah see and that's just like and that's the other thing is so we sad. were taught to as you know as i was a preschool teacher for a long time we were taught to be inclusive of everything whether it's different abilities, different race, different, you know, everything, cultures, everything. Yeah. Not one that no Not, one is is higher than the other. Right. Or the, it's just it, it's just equal. This has the potential of ending up in the Supreme Court. I don't doubt it. If DeSantis signs it into law, then there are going to be organizations suing the state of Florida for bigoted legislation. I'll be right back. Oh, good. We need to. We, we need to because this is just ridiculous you know and um they're making a note of this i'm looking at an article here and there's a lady from she's an executive director of the trevor project which is something that you have in new Hampshire in uh in florida that serves the lgbtq community their focus is on preventing suicides do you remember i don't know if uh, trevor the name that it's it's after it is a kid that committed suicide. Right. And they're basically pointing out that it's already the LGBTQ community, young folks, they already have a way higher risk factor for bullying, for depression, for suicide. By signing this bill into law, it's going to exponentially grow that stigma and fuel more separation and disparities in the classroom you're going to increase depression you're going to increase suicide you're going to increase bullying 
this bill has the potential of taking your school systems backwards, in my opinion. And the, like they weren't already backwards as it was. Well, seriously, mean, just just recently in Florida, now gay couples are allowed to adopt. They weren't up until like, a couple years ago. But the law can go the can go backwards and forwards. the the uh, The other oh, side of that coin is years ago in Massachusetts, the state of Massachusetts said that to the Catholic Charities, which is an adoption organization run by Catholics, you have to adopt children out to same sex couples, or we're not going to renew your license. And they said, "Well, we're not going to do it anymore." And they walked away. And a lot of kids waited for adoption a lot longer. I, personally. I would have liked to have seen it stay in place because it had its place in society that it was helping kiddos get out of foster well, care or group home situations. But see, we had the opposite issue here in Florida because uh, gay couples were not allowed to adopt, period. Yeah. Yes. So, 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 they're, so they're, they're, you take one step forward and now with this is three yeah. steps backwards. Yeah. I mean, well, great. They, You're all of these kids were going without families because they were being denied because they were gay couples. Yeah. We, I would love to see families just being families. Like if in my world, in my perfect world, government doesn't need to be involved in your marriage. Two people can decide they want to take care of one another in my perfect world. Like I wouldn't care if Janie and Janie's mother decided they wanted to live together for the end of her days. And she wanted to put her on their insurance. Yeah. And, you know, then then we're getting more people covered medically by allowing more than just husband, wife, child that right. that that's not the true picture of a family anymore. Families are much more intergenerational, more mixed and more open to each other. I think it's kind of a neat period of time to be alive in. Yeah, and uh, like you said, this is going. This has got a chance to go ahead and cause some major controversy, major stuff going on. And uh, obviously, Disney's already taken the stance that's like, "Hey, listen, we don't like this. This you shouldn't have to go ahead and poke your nose in school or any of this, any of this nature here. We you know everything. You know everything should be discussed openly. And I think it, that's it, listen. If we're going to go down this whole road, and I'm not trying to change subjects on this by no means, but if we're going to go down the whole road as this new type of uh, we have to look at everything differently now where we have multiple genders we everybody needs to be accepted so guess what now we need to have more things in the open more things maybe even on the, on the dockets stuff to where guidance counselors now are are, are well equipped to handle this because johnny little johnny's gonna say what's going on this is not this is not said anything about in my home well this is what really is there johnny you sanitize his classroom and take him out of it. How does he feel like he belongs? Well, it's the same thing. It's like, I guess you're screwed in either way you look at it, to be honest with you, because it's like you do one way, then it's like, okay, well, you take excluding them from the classroom. But if you do it the other way, then you have all these parents pissed off. So it's like, it, it, you're screwed one way or the other. There's not, there's not going to be a happy medium to everybody. Everybody's going to have one side of it or another side of it. And it's however, with this, how much is it going to cost taxpayers when all this shit starts showing up in a court, this gets signed into law and anybody who's feels like they got a hair across their ass can go sue people, sue the school system, school, the teachers. Don't you think they can do that already? Raise that property tax up some more, right? Yeah, right. You need to spend some more money on education in the form of lawsuits instead of new books. Come on, we're not paying enough in gas tax. Raise that up, too. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, speaking of school, how about an assistant principal getting the pink slip after reading a children's book in class? In yep. Jackson, Mississippi, an assistant principal there was fired last week after reading the children's book, I Need a New Butt to a class of second grade students. The assistant principal, Toby Price, told the TV station, my boss had asked me to set up a Zoom with the second grade classes and the principal at the school they were going to be at next year, and she was going to read to them. And she didn't know. To improvise, Price said his boss told him to read the students instead. I grabbed one of my favorite books, he said, uh, that I had nearby. I read it to them. It's a funny, silly book. 
Price said that he had read the book at previous school districts before and never had any pushback or complaints. Uh, Price continued, I didn't think twice about reading it because I've never had an issue with it before. There are other books that have much more suggestive material that are much more widely accepted. According to the termination letter from the superintendent of Hins County School District, Price showed a, quote, a lack of professionalism and impaired judgment, unquote, by picking the book. Uh, Price says, I think if that, uh, you know, there's pretty a harsh reaction. I've been in education for 20 years and never had a disciplinary anything put in my file, not even for being late. So I was blown away. Um, now Price is hoping to have it to overturn their decision to get his job back and teach others that funny book are needed in education. The superintendent at the school declined to comment about his firing. The book titled I Need a New But already sounds really weird. I don't yeah. know. If, are you... It's actually it's wicked funny. Book, so I don't know. I can't say whether it's. I'm looking this up and OK, wait. This book is in a Scholastics book fair, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, this so was the book that we took away from our son. That that, that doesn't really. Oh, did, did you? But if you're buying it at the school, yes, that that matters. That does matter. Yeah, when um, I remember you talking about that when my kid was in elementary school, there was a book he he thought it was funny. It was Captain Underpants. Well, this and is it, the same author as Captain Underpants. Yeah. And he oh, he drew a cartoon of Captain Underpants in class and got in trouble for it. And I had to go in there and like bring the book and be like, are you kidding me? He bought it here. Like, what are you doing? But this book is is a joke. It's a it's an offbeat, funny joke that just makes light of life. I need, you know, it, it's not. My butt is so noisy. It says, uh, "My, what you know if I got one that was so noisy in this household? <laughs> you know, what if I got one that was made like a like a? It's, it's just rhyming funnies, and it's just a funny little five dollar book that is in the Scholastic Fair. Now, this teacher has no disciplinary history whatsoever." No, it doesn't sound like it. Hey, yeah, he didn't for 20 years. Didn't have he wasn't even cited for being tardy. That's how clean he was. If yep. it's a book that you can buy at the school or, and it's in the school library and stuff yep. like that, then there should be no reason that he can't read and it. And it's in Walmart and it's in Target. And it makes jokes. It says, How about a rocket butt or a robot buck? It's all just like funny. Stuff it's loving. Oh, Adults yeah. like to make everything disgusting and nasty. Yeah. We we make everything gross. Adults are looking at this in some sexual form, which is absolutely disgusting, by the way. When it's just having some fun, it's like Pinocchio's nose growing. Well, or... well when you some take people wait, wait, wait. don't like their kids to be too involved with the potty humor. But when you take a look at the book too. Welcome to real well, life. But no, but when you, when, you, when you take a look at the cover of the book, the kids, the 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 the, the cartoon character's butt is hanging out. Like that's not. I mean that that that's it's nothing. Kind of, what are you afraid of a body pot for? It's a body I'm pot. I'm just saying it becomes a big deal when you make it a big deal. But I'm saying you really don't think it's going to be a big deal to some. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I would have read it to my kid. Would read I it. Yes. I, I I don't with the pictures and laughing at no. the pictures too. Uh, Crystal says, how rude, being Stephanie Tanner, how rude. Facebook just shot me over to the, my own timeline. It did this to me on Matt's show the other day. And then she puts in parentheses, grabbing a safety bar from Charles's Disney collection and locking myself into my seat. Uh, she <laughs> continues, it's only a matter of time before, quote, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, is going to get dinged. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. Oh, uh, lo I love that book when I was nine or ten. Um yeah, I'm not sure about that one book either, but again, it's I so it's, the it, book. it goes, yeah. So it, it, it kind of goes in regards to the um which call it, it, it's 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 subjective. Like here, I'm gonna show you the, the picture of the book. And I'm just saying, some people when they're gonna take a look at that, they're gonna say, Oh, that's gross. Come on, come on. Yeah, here. hilarious here. internet sensation and bestseller. I need a new bum. 
I broke my butt. I broke my butt. Broke my butt. There's different books. There's My Bum is So Noisy. I Broke My Butt. I Need a New Butt. I think it's so I Need a New Butt. So take a look at it. It's like, it's like the kid, that the, the cartoon character, his butt showing. It's like he's got his pants halfway down. It's like, how is that? <laughs> I mean, that is kind of, I mean, they, they could have done without that. Let's put it that way. I don't think the teacher yeah. should have been fired. You I don't, don't think like the idea of him it's farting probably... a rivet out of his ass. Yeah, right. Especially if it's his first offense at anything. Right. I don't think you shouldn't have gotten fired. I mean, come if on. If you can buy it in the friggin' library when the Scholastics people come in, that's fair game. Right. If it's not okay in the school, it sure as shit shouldn't be in the Scholastics book. Yeah, there. and it, sh it should not be. Then you're setting up teachers and students for failure. Yep. You really are. Just like my kid getting called out for drawing a picture of Captain Underpants when he bought the book at the friggin' fair. Damn Same it. thing. Captain Underpants. At least he's wearing underpants. This kid has his bare butt out. Captain Underpants was wearing a diapy, I think. Yeah. A diapy no, underwear. It was tidy whities It was tidy whities Was it tidy whities Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it would have been Captain Diapy Pants if that was the case. Voltron <laughs> season three. Good evening, Charles. We say to you, we are known as the new tomorrow people, and now we're called Voltran. All right. Well, hello, Voltran. Can are they, do they play with Jesus? What I Isaac? I think it's Isaac. You think it's Isaac? No, there, we, we have a couple of uh teen um cover bands that follow us. Oh. Cool. Some people that do uh, New Kids on the Block, Boys to Men. Uh, so far, no one had, has the balls to go ahead and do Backstreet Boys. I don't know. Maybe they just don't <laughs> they like know them. better. Yeah, they, know better. <laughs> uh, they don't want me to have comments on that. <laughs> yeah. But why not? Oh, believe me, they don't want them. They You don't. They, you don't. Listen. Because that, nobody could do them justice. Backstreet Boys to Alyssa is like. Jewish culture to you. You mess with the Backstreet Boys. Boys. All right. You mess with the Backstreet Boys to her, and she will go ape shit on your ass. Backstreet Boys. Now, if they do that and move the wrong way, they'll crack their back. <laughs> no. I mean, be chiropractic funny. care now. That was kind of funny. No, they actually older. did. Um, their black and blue tour they did a little spoof of themselves as old men and it was really funny hmm. oh my god who the hell Whatever. cares all right stop I it detail about it i just <laughs> said it was funny oh okay. my god right. really uh let's rewind everybody remember that pig uh, heart that went into a human yes. no okay don't worry yes about it. He got two more months of life. Yep, he got two extra more months of living. Uh, but unfortunately, the pig, just like uh, the guy, is dead. Uh, the University of Maryland announced a 50-year-old, a 57-year-old, had died Tuesday, two months after the ground bacon experiment. It is unknown at this time if uh, David Bennett died Hang as on, a I'll recent right result. Oh, go take care of the little one. Well, he needs to worry about it later. I got something to loosen his teeth. All right. It is unknown that Dave Bennett had died direct result of receiving the foreign or organ. Uh, he was a candidate for the di dramatic attempt only because he was dying and wasn't eligible for a human heart transplant. Mm. Uh, before his surgery in January, he says, I want to live. I know it's a shot in the dark, but it's my last choice. Bennett's surgery showed for the uh, first time a gene-edited animal heart can function in the human body without immediate rejection. After the surgery, Bennett still had to use a ECMO machine. What's that, Jenny? ECMO. Ec well, it's I know a machine that, that uh, does the work of your heart and your lungs like for a pacemaker you. Or an artificial More than heart. that. Oh, no, it's way more than that. Like, you got garden hoses coming out of your chest, and your blood is circulating through this machine uh -huh. and being oxygenated through this machine because your heart and lungs can't do it. Garden hoses. No. I've only ever seen somebody on ECMO up close and personal while they were ventilated. Mm. 
Um, I've I never taken a, care of somebody that had it, the whole thing. I had a friend whose daughter um, ha had to have a heart transplant because she had had leukemia when she was little. Jeez. And uh, she was on an ECMO for quite a while. She had the battery pack thing that she had to carry around? Yeah. Well, she had like a whole external, I don't know, something or other. I didn't actually see her in person. This it's it's Canada, it's so. it's some pretty intense care. That's for damn sure. It's like the last yeah, she resort. Was, she was in the hospital. I mean, she wasn't able to get out of the hospital until her transplant. I, it's 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 like it's it's this giant machine that basically yeah. does it all. Well, you say giant right. machine. Oh, sorry. Let's say uh, I've seen what they call Y tubing coming out of the chest, and it's just these giant garden hose tubing that's pulling your blood through. So basically, it's kind of like you know uh, a lot of plumbing going on there. Just to oh hell yeah, the blood. Oh hell yeah, a lot of plumbing. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Well, like there's a lot that, but this is cool that this happened though, because this there's a lot of information they're going to gather from this yep. that's going to help move the science forward. <clears throat> so, the, like you mentioned, two extra months of living. Now, I don't know what the quality of life was for that two months. I well, mean, if he if was on, on this the ECMO machine, he probably was he in probably the hospital was, yeah. and wasn't able to do a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. I, I've never months. seen anybody walking around with one i mean they had tubes down their throats to breathe as well it, yeah it's see, pretty, pretty I've crazy seen pictures of my friend's daughter and she was able to get up and move around but she wasn't had able the, to leave the hospital maybe she had yeah. mini ecmo machine maybe she had the ecto machine uh, the ghost you know machine. what i mean if if you're dying anyway and they're like hey would you help further science by agreeing to this you may or may not be aware when we get done why not? Yeah. Why not? Uh, Alyssa shared this, so I, I better get to it. I'm going to get to it as quickly as I can because did, we're close to the time. Did it work that second time? That <clears throat> I yeah, I got it. it. I got okay. it. I got it. I got it. Uh, a South Florida teacher was taken to the hospital last week after she was attacked by a five-year-old student, leaving her dazed and confused. No, dazed and unresponsive, according to officials. The unidentified instructor was found by first responders, quote, sitting on the ground against the wall and appearing to be in faint state at the Pine Lakes Elementary School. This makes you think twice about being a preschool teacher, doesn't it? After oh, the horror stories I no, heard when you got it. home. All right. About 15 miles southwest of downtown Fort Lauderdale, according to the heavily, uh, according to a heavily redated Pembroke Pines Police Department incident report. The victim was clearly weak and dazed, able to blink and breathe regularly, but at no point was able to vocally respond or show signs of a response. The troubling incident started when a five-year-old boy had to be removed from class for throwing things around and flipping the chairs, police said. The youngster was taken to an empty cool-down room. This sounds familiar. Shouldn't this happen? Never mind. Where the attack on the teacher allegedly took place. The teacher had then been taken to Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood, and it's since it been released while the young suspect is still being investigated for possible aggravated assault with hands, fist and feet. It is unlikely he'll be criminally prosecuted. A, a police spokesperson told the NBC News on Monday. Prosecutors would be hard pressed to show that this five year old had the ability to distinguish right from wrong. The police said the victim in her late 30s or early 40s is about five foot four with a slender frame. Broward Teachers Union President Anna Fusco told NBC News on Monday she suffered a concussion and other injuries after the enraged special education student, that's what it says, between 50 and 60 pounds unleashed on the teacher, according to the union chief. The instructor had been leading a exponential ex student education class with a group of children with some type of special needs or special disability with all kinds of different diagnoses. The way he, uh, Fus uh, Fusco said, the uh, the union chief, the way he pounced on her and the way she fell backwards and smacked her head, it was a severe concussion. She got some other bodily injuries from him, jumping on her, attacking her, kicking, punching, biting, etc. Wow. Um, Broward County School officials, uh, officials referred to all questions to police. The district, though, did share a message that Principal Susan Sass sent to parents and staff acknowledged that there had been an incident that occurred in school which required a staff member to be transported to a local medical facility.
The school has nearly 800 students who range in age from pre-kindergarten through the fifth grade. Just now, a, a, a reason I, I shared yeah. that story. Go ahead. These teachers, especially teachers dealing with kids in special ed who may have behavioral problems, need to be trained and be able to use de-escalation strategies. Majority of the teachers are not trained in it. And even if they are, they're not allowed to do any holds or anything unless it's extreme, extreme circumstances. Uh, I would call this getting the shit kicked kicked out of you by well, a 40 it sounds like she, when she got first attacked though she slammed well, her head so she really didn't have the ability well, the, so the, much here's the other thing is there should be somebody else there in case something like that happens i think there was and they were filming it for youtube to be placed on the crazy joe channel jesus christ no there should be a second person or third either right nearby that can step in if they need to or in the room well like with stefan's class he's got uh, he, he now has in the class of eight people three teachers or yeah. two or three teachers like there is like there's good odds right there that if but, he ever went ape shit somebody was going to be there to stop him but when he was taken to the calm down room he was in there with one teacher Mm. So now, it's like, take me to the calm down room and it's just one-on-one. At, -on -one. at that point, he went and hid in the corner anyway, so it didn't really, you know, he right. wasn't doing anything. But, I mean... Not to say not this kid. This kid had other ideas. The The thing is, the it depends on how escalated the kid is. Because I've seen these situations because I, I deal with it on a daily basis. And we are trained and are able to step in and de-escalate the situation. Right. If, you know, if it comes to it and we have to put a kid in the hold, we do, but we try not to. But if they're going to hurt you or hurt somebody else in, in a serious manner, then yeah, you need to be able to step in and take care of it. And it should be the same way in school. <laughs> So yeah, everybody needs to go ahead and and, and get trained. Well, get no, trained but just like just, it has just nothing like these... to do with the training. They're not allowed to, even if they do have the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's another can of worms there too. Oh, trust me. And just like Crystal says, it's hard. Nothing good ever happens in Broward County. Oh, I agree. Well, I agree. Finally, and in a little bit more lighthearted before we get to good news. Um, strawberry shortcake becomes the Florida's official state dessert. Well, at least DeSantis wasn't signing bullshit laws all day. He actually went ahead <laughs> and signed it into the uh, law that Senate Bill 1006 now declares the official state dessert of Florida to be the strawberry shortcake. We are just in the middle of the strawberry festival down here in Plant City, Florida. So, uh, apparently he, um, uh, he got enough sugar in, in him to go ahead and make this decision to go ahead and make it official. Uh, he actually signed the bill into law there at the festival in Plant City. He says in a gibberish, signing this bill at the Florida Strawberry Festival is one of the ways that we are supporting our Florida strawberry farmers and is a tribute to more than a, a 10,000 acres of strawberries that are grown in the greater Plant City area. The designation of the state deserves an effort to promote the state's $1 billion strawberry industry uh the house voted yeah there was a house vote on this thing um <laughs> does everybody like strawberry shortcake go ahead and vote now 109 to 4 on friday to send to santa's to bill that would make the shortcake florida's official dessert me i think they should have went with a snickers bar or a reese's peanut butter cup but no, <laughs> that's my, that's not my decision to make i would have accepted th thought something more citrusy would be yeah, they but what Floridian. does you think of the citrusy? I, I, you I have an know. orange on your license plate. Yeah, well, the orange, I mean, sorbet, maybe? Key lime <laughs> pie. <laughs> Key lime pie? I don't know. Uh, strawberry shortcake makes the most of it because, again, we, you know, 
Plant they, City. They do Fl have strawberries. Fl yeah, Florida definitely is known for strawberries because I don't care what part of the country you are, from New Hampshire all the way to California, uh, you're getting strawberries from one or two different areas, and that's either California or Plant City, Florida. And or from the local place that grows the them. maybe the local farmer's market but you know the distribution the two major distributions are are, are plant city in california all right we're going to go ahead and cut to a break we're only going to do one song it's from harlow and when we come back it's good news time so stay tuned don't go anywhere wrapping up the show with Alyssa's good news after a short break
Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Search The Charles Richardson Show. All right, let's get out of this music and go right to the good news. We only got like five and a half minutes, so let's go over to Alyssa and get some good news in here. What do you say? Students in five Chicago high schools are surprised with free college ride, all expenses paid, and for some parents, too. Students at five Chicago public schools this week got the news that all their college tuition will be paid for, along with room and board, books, fees, and taxes. Not only are these freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors getting the free ride, but also one of their parents or guardians. The multi-generation scholarship program is being launched by Hope Chicago, the nonprofit led by former Chicago Public Schools CEO, Dr. Janice Jackson. Wait, wait, Janet Jackson's Janice Jackson's supporting? Oh, Janice. Janice. Oh. Hope Chicago has committed to raising $1 billion in support and funding over the next decade and raised and has raised $40 million already with funding partners that include several corporations, financial institutions, and private family foundations. Are you okay with her? Yeah. All right. Students at five integral schools gathered in gymnasiums across the city to hear the stunning news. 90% of kids attending citywide public schools are students of color at 80% are low in- and 80% are low income. 4,000 students at these five high schools will get their post-secondary educations fully funded. Uh, Hope Chicago scholarships will cover the full cost of attendance at any of the 20 participating two and four year or year higher education institutions and industry certification programs. One of those is the University of Illinois at something urbana champagne banner champagne i have no idea that sounds like anyway, a drinking school it's chancellor robert j jones said his school is excited to be a partner this is some of the best news i have heard in this space for years and this is a transitional moment for so many chicago families with one billion dollar goal hope chicago vows to provide scholarships for 24,000 students and more than 6,000 parents guardian, and guardians through its two-generation model, which is expected to increase the likelihood of students actually completing and graduating. Nice. A survey showed that only 27% of Chicago public school students earn their degree after 63% enroll. Launched in fall 2021, Hope Chicago says they used census data as well as their college enrollment and completion statistics to help identify neighborhoods and schools that need a boost. Each year, they hope to add more schools. Awesome. Very good. Nice. All right. And that brings us to the end of our show. Uh, Jen A, go ahead. Had a little banner for you, but go ahead and uh, promote what you need to promote. Hey, thank you for that. Yes, come to GenCoffee.com. You can check out some of my artwork and writings, my latest blog posts, and check out The Mighty, where my next article about bread making and meditation will be coming out of editing fairly soon. Plus, catch this show on IPMNation.com. Bread making and not burning the house down, right? Correct. Make sure it's not to, anyway. Yeah, she, and meditating she's, she's, while you do it. She's she's a Get good baker. Peace. She gets it right about eighty percent of the time. So listen, eighty yeah. percent by the most of you jagoffs out there. So <laughs> fight it. Um, <laughs> don't forget to visit rawtalkonlineradio.com for all of the of the great shows that we got going on. We can wake you up every morning, Monday through Friday, starting at seven thirty a.m. with DJ Scotty and the Morning Mayhem. Followed at ten a.m. by the Steve Jarrett Morning Show every morning from 7.30 all the way to 1 p.m. Eastern. Wake up, damn it. And then from 4 to 6, it is Matt Corrington with the Matt <laughs> Corrington Show from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time on RawTalkOnlineRadio.com. And, of course, we're here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or whenever I feel like it from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. So don't forget to go ahead and catch all the great shows in between as well. Um Want some ears? Call Alyssa. She makes those ears. She's been dying to make ears. 
St. Patty's Day ears. You need to make you need to make I ears. Have St. Patty's. Day you need ears. to make ears that hold a can of beer in each ear. No. Like the, you, you, you know, I'm just no. saying. No. Damn it. No. I could use that. Although, if you made like straw ones that went like this, it would be cool for like a nice red wine. A little round. Killed the buzz right No. There. Killed the really? buzz. Really? I it tried. Fuck you. All right. We're out of here. Fuck folks. you. <laughs> Have a great night. We'll see you Friday. Slater Beaters. Bye. Even though my world is black, I can see a speck of light. Feeling stronger, feeling free. With the shadows of the night.